Hang up out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Such a joke. Vlogs. Hi Morgan, you're the first person in. I haven't actually tweeted out the link yet. You're way ahead of everyone else in the game right now. Hold on. Let me just tweet the link. Hang about. Right. Twitter.com. Hello. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Shout out to Trini Savage. Sophie R. Iron Man. Hello. Nat Tulloch. Hello. How's it going? Hello. Welcome. I'm just going to, uh, I'm live. I'm live. Right, I'm just going to, I'm just doing all the social posting midgies. Two seconds. Oh, so Jiren's not here. You may be thinking, where's Jiren? You're going to say that a lot throughout this whole um, thing. To everyone saying, where's Jiren during this one? He is currently editing um, around someone else's house. So he's not here. He might, he might be here at some point. Who knows? Depends how long this one goes on for. Um, thanks, Hannah. Hi, Joe. I came from Twitter. Um, who do I like more, Jake Paul or Logan Paul? I don't know. This, it's too difficult. I, I'm not going to lie. I've been watching a lot of Logan Paul today. Um, but I love them both. Right. Let's get on with the show. So, um, hello. Have you, had, have you had a good week? How's your week been? What's everyone been up to? Um, what are you doing with your weekend? I've literally got, just got changed in the nick of time. Um, Holly Smith. Oh, thanks, Holly Smith. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, Carly. Hi from Cornwall. Shout out to Bethany from Cornwall. Um, shout out to the Somerset laddies. Poland. Belgium. Work. Going shopping. Filming a self-tape. Oh, cool. Nice. I don't know what that means, but what's a self-tape? Um, yesterday was your birthday. Hey, birthday yesterday, Katie. Um, Finland. Malaysia. Uh, you've led him back to an ill. I had a sore throat yesterday from the plane. Um, I went, uh, I just came back from Madrid uh, and I got a sore throat from the plane. But it's gone already. It's got one day sore throat. And now, because I've had tonsillitis so many times in the most recent years or whatever, a sore throat to me now is like, it's like almost like nothing. It, it, it's not even that, that bad. Um, but anyway, right. Let's get on with it. People say, what does the five pound mean? Uh, the five pounds uh, is people that have um, su uh, done super chat. You can do this thing called super chat where you pay money so then I can see your comments a lot easier than right now. You look at the comments right now and they're so fast that I can't even read them a lot of the time. Good thing is on the phone, it slows it down quite a lot. Um, someone said my hair's looking so long. It is looking long. Uh, I'm thinking about just seeing how much I can grow it until Christmas. Someone said, how do I donate? I don't actually know. I'm going to try and... Oh, there's a little, if, you, if you're watching on the computer, there's a little like, um, it's like a dollar sign. You click that, it's called Super Chat, and then it says send a Super Chat. Um, how do I do that? Can I send one to myself? Oh my God, I can send a Super Chat to myself. I don't know how I do that. Let's see if I can send it. The, oh. the most you can send, I don't, I don't know how this works. I don't know. I, even I don't know how it works. But anyway, um, right, let's get on with the show. Um, it's going to be quite a quick one this week. Uh, I've got uh, other things going, I'm doing tonight, so I can't be on for too long. Um, but anyway, first, we've had, we've had a good week of, uh, of news this week. First story of the day, an Italian woman wants a dream wedding but doesn't have a partner. So, can you guess what she's done? She's only gone and married herself. Um, yeah, it's the... Insta kills says, where's that guy, Georgian? Georgian is currently, he's watching right now. He's actually watching the stream, but he's uh, also editing at the same time in a different place. He's not here yet. He might be back later on, um, but I'll probably be off by the time he gets back. Uh, but yes, so this woman's married herself. Believe it or not, you can actually marry yourself. Some people, some people long for the day, they get that, have that fairy tale wedding. But sometimes that's just not how life works out. Well, Laura Messi, or Mez, Mezai, Mezi, uh, thought she might miss out after a 12-year relationship came to an end. However, it was the end of the relationship that made her double down and decide she was going to have a fairy tale wedding no matter what. So Laura decided she would marry herself. Classic Laura, that is. Typical Laura. Shout out to anyone called Laura. Is anyone actually anyone here watching who married themselves? 
thank you. It's Zoe Scarlet 18. Hi, Joe. I'm coming to meet you in Hello World on the 28th. I'm so excited. Will you sign my PBX Sug Life shirt? Yes, I will. I'm just going to have to walk around with a Sharpie on me so I can, sign, so I can go around signing stuff. Um, she's married herself. Anyway, the ceremony doesn't have many legal... The ceremony doesn't have any legal status at all, but the event still had all the things you expect, like a big white dress, three-layer wedding cake, bridesmaids, and 70 guests. 70 guests? I don't even have 70 friends. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so it wasn't actually like, legal, so she hasn't technically legally married herself. Um, the idea of marrying herself is one that's gaining popularity around the globe, but Laura says... Uh, she's the first to do it in Italy. Well, congrats. Congrats, Laura. I'm proud of you. Laura said, I told my friends and family if I had not found my soulmate by my 40th birthday, I would marry myself. And she did. Do you know what? I think I'm going to do that. I genuinely think I'm going to do that. 100%. It would be a lot easier. Um, uh, if you want to marry yourself, here's the things Laura says you'll need. You need a certain amount of money, the support of those around you, and above all, a pinch of madness. I'm going to do it. I'm genuinely going to do it. Can I marry myself? Then make a fun vlog. Anyway, here's Laura cutting her own... Oh, we're back on the iPad again today, by the way. Um, here's Laura cutting her wedding cake. Oh, for God's sake, this is why I don't use, this is why I don't use the iPad. This is why I use paper, usually. Anyway, there she is. There's Laura. Right. Next story of the day. Uh, newsflash, newsflash. Do not tattoo your eyeballs. This might not... For any, also, for everyone that keeps saying, where's Jiren or Byron, it's Georgian, um, can you just let them know? I've said it like four times already. He's not here! If he's not here, he's not here, right? He's not here. He's editing. Um, anyway, don't tattoo your eyeballs. This might not actually be news for you, all of you, but you may... You, well, I can't read. This might not actually be news for all of you. Maybe you already knew you shouldn't tattoo your eyeballs. But this week, a model decided to try, to try it out and things didn't go too well. I mean, why would you do that if you're a model, you know? Where, like, your income is based down onto your, your looks and stuff. Why, why are you tattooing your eyeballs? Don't do it. Um, Kat Gallagher has lost sight in one of her eyes after getting it tattooed. It obviously didn't go down well after the procedure was actually crying purple tears. She was crying purple tears. I've heard of purple rain but not purple tears. Um, eyeball tattoos have been done successfully before, but apparently this one was caused by undiluted ink over injection, not enough such small injection sites. Kat put the story out to warn people of the dangers. She said, just please be cautious who you get your mods from and do your research. I don't want this to happen to anyone else. As it stands, there's a chance Kat won't get her eyeballs, eyesight back in the eye, but we'll be doing the course We'll be doing a, a course of hospital trips over the next few months in the hope of fixing it. And here she is crying purple tears. Look at her, like, look. Why would you do that? At, at what point do you think, do you know what? I'm going to tattoo my eyeballs purple. I've always, I've always wanted to do that. Uh, hi, Kim from Kansas in the USA. I hope you're doing well. And hey, Kayleen Hernandez. I just got my pink silver hoodie in the mail yesterday. It's the most comfy thing I've ever owned. That is right. It doesn't get much better. Christ, I do need a haircut. Anyway, next story. Moving on. Um, kids don't have to worry about spiders in the UK. Think again, kids. Oh, don't have to worry about spiders in the UK. Think again, kids. Spiders have been taking over the UK in recent months. Sightings and bites from false widow spiders have gone up dramatically. On top of this, this week a spider caused chaos on the tube in London. It was a normal rush hour morning on the Baker Blue Line when people started screaming and rushing to the ends of the tube. The thing that set them running was a ginormous tarantula that had been let loose on the train. We've had a lot of um, of people worry about taking uh, public transport um, recently, and this does not help at all. Um, spiders being let loose. Um, there could be worse things, obviously, but yeah, spiders. It's believed the spider was released as a YouTube prank. Oh, great. Classic. It's probably a Josh Peters video. Um, it's believed the spider was released as a YouTube prank as one of the passengers was handling the spider, but in no rush to get it, back in, get it back in the cage. So it was a YouTube prankster that did it. Can't believe it. Uh, Glenn Q. Hi, Joe. It's my birthday a couple of days ago, and on my way to London. Uh, on my way to London, what's one place that is a must-to-go? Best birthday ever. Love from Philly. Philly. 
Uh, best, oh, I don't know. The best place to go in London. I mean, Shoreditch is pretty cool. You should try, uh, you should try Shoreditch if you haven't been. Go and see all the sites. I like, um, I don't know. It's hard for me to say. I like uh, Chelsea area. It's quite nice, quite pretty. Covent Garden's really nice. That's what I suggest. Oh, Christ, we're all fled in now. Uh, Caitlin Simmons. Hey, Charles, when are, the, when are the burgundy hoodies coming on sale? Can't wait to meet you as this is the first time I can get a ticket. Uh, burgundy hoodies sale. I have no idea what you're talking about with burgundy hoodies. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I met you in Brighton. I flew in from Switzerland. Oh, yes, I remember you. Yeah, you gave me all the chocolate. I've got those chocolates, um, Cara, in my cupboard right there. Thank you so much. And there's a little cheeky toad bear in there as well. Legend. Hi, Joe. I've been watching your videos for four years. And just so you know, I call you my husband. So you are married to me. Love you loads. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Jane Lou. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey, Joe. Thank you so much for putting my book in your new, in your new vlog. Oh, it's Molly. Molly Bop. If you haven't watched my new vlog yet, um, if you haven't watched my new vlog yet, then uh, you'll see that Molly, there's a girl called Molly, uh, who actually published her own book off the back of our, um, our, our boom of YouTuber books. Uh, Leanne Fisher. Hey Joe, how you been? Love from Leanne Fisher in Australia. I've been alright. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not too bad. I'm uh, pretty tired. Not really in the mood to, <laughs> to stream. But, you know, it's Friday, 7pm. Uh, hey Joe, I love you so much. You make me so happy. I hope you can check out my Instagram. Hannah.prvt there you go. There's Hannah's Instagram. Um, <clears throat> someone said something about me. Oh, yeah. So I did a video. <laughs> All right. Okay. I need to address this because people, quite a lot of people have seen the video now. I did a video where I played this quiz where it was like um, you had to answer the opposite questions. Um, and one of the questions, which obviously is going to be the bloody thumbnail and title, was um, have you ever kissed Casper? Of course I have. I've kissed his ass many a times. But never, never, never on the lips, only on his ass. Um, please like one of my tweets, Alfie and Louise have. I, I even made gifts of your videos, check them out. I will at some point. I shall do that. Uh, right, anyway, moving on to the next question, next question, next story. Man who ran Google's self-driving car project has started a robot religion. Oh, classic. This, this world is really going, going to the pot, innit? That's right. Worship the robots, y'all. Anthony Lewandowski has set up a religion called Way of the Future, which purpose is, which purpose is described as to, to, to develop and promote a realisation of a god based on artificial intelligence. Now, do you know what? This actually, actually, I'm going to lie, it's actually quite interesting. Um, this essentially means that their job is to create artificial intelligence that will become a god and then make people recognise that artificial intelligence as, oh, maybe not as, it's not what I was thinking of. I watched a video of that. Who's the, the um, Elon Musk? did a talk about how he, um, uh, how he, there's a, a belief that there we're, I can't remember, I can't remember, but I found it really interesting anyway. But yeah, he did one of them. Um, so the charity itself hasn't confirmed any of this to the press or the poop scoop, but in that description is what's included on the official US religion registration. Anthony is regarded as one of the most successful people in getting AI to drive vehicles. So who knows what he might be able to achieve? Classic. Right, next story, and the reason why this video is called this video, giant rat falls out of the sky and is a new species. It's happened. It's actually happened. For over 20 years, the people of the Solomon Islands have been talking about giant rats that live in the treetops that are like no other known creature. What? I want to go to the Solomon Islands. I'm actually not scared of rats. Uh, someone said black mirrors were not truly effed them up. I know. When are you going to do another GTA video? I'll tell you. Hannah, uh, whenever me and Ollie have time to do it. At the moment, um, it's a very, very hectic time of my life. I'm trying to sort a lot of things out. So everything will be back on track very, very soon. Um, Emily Paulson. Hey, Joe, I live in LA and I'm homesick from school. Please come visit Ca come please come visit Casper while he's here. I've been mean, wanting to meet you for like four years. Okay, I might, tr I might try and go out to LA at some point um, to stay with Casper and Connor when they're out there. Um, I've just got to try and work out when's the best time to go, because uh, now is not a good time. But maybe in the next couple, couple maybe in the next coming weeks, um, I'll be able to do that. Anyway, back to these giant rats that have fallen out of the sky. 
Uh, but no more because giant a giant tree rat fell out of the sky. Well, a tree as a ranger from a nearby conservation area was walking by. Unfortunately, the ginormous rodent didn't survive the fall, but it did mean that its species is now on the record. So there's, there's been giant rats living in trees in the Solomon Islands that no one's ever seen. And now all of a sudden they're there. How mad is that? I think it's, I think it's amazing that we're still finding species of animals. that we, like, Even like the sea. There's so many species in the sea that we'll never even probably know. Mad. Mental. Um, its official name is the Vangnula giant rat. A mammalogist, Tyrone Lavery, said, I immediately knew there was so it was something new. The rodent weighs about two pounds and grows over 1.5 feet long. So that's like, what, like that? That's big. Is that including the tail, though? Because if that's including the tail, then I'm not that impressed. Just saying. Don't care if it's new or not. Right, next story. Polly wanna cracker? More like Polly wanna hack yo ass. Yes. That's right, news fans. This story is all about the parrot hacker. In case you didn't know, Amazon Alexa is a voice-controlled home assistant. Um, but as you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a Google homeboy because uh, because they love me and they sent me one, made me do a video about it. Uh, uh, so Amazon Alexa is a voice-controlled home assistant. You don't need to touch anything. You just say what you want and it will do it. Like for example, I can say. I'll do the Google Home version. Google Home. Oh no, what's it called? Hey Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes, starting now. There you go. But Buddy, an African grey parrot, managed to make oh, uh, managed to make Alexa listen to it and actually ended up um, ordering a set of gift boxes after he'd heard his owner make the same purchase earlier that day. This is what I worry about, right? I think in the future, these, um, these, uh, da, 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 da. Um, these Amazon Alexas and Google Homes are going to be in every like office, right? And I'm worried that it's going to be... It says, oh, am I still here? Bloody hell. Sorry. Josh Peters. Josh, if you're watching this, stop trying to call me. You know it's 7pm on a Friday. I'm doing my freaking news show. I hate. I actually hate that kid. Genuinely, I don't hate many people, but I hate Josh. Does my head in. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> he simply made the order and another bunch got sent straight through. With it being speculated that Russian hackers fixed the US election, should we be looking at our winged friends to see if they're, where their allegiances lie? Let me know in the comments below. I would like to know. B.O.B. Um, keeps going on about the flat earth. Was this, and then B.O.B. the, the rapper? He is, right, in case you didn't know. Flat Earth truthers are a group of people who think the Earth is actually, actually flat after all. And they want to prove this and expose scientists as frauds. But one of those high profile Flat Earth truthers is rapper B.O.B. The guy who sung um, the airplane song. You know the airplane one? With um, Hayley Williams? Um, but, he's back, but he's back on the Flat Earth grind. He started a GoFundMe page to raise money for the Flat Earth cause. B.O.B. wants to use the money he secures to build his own satellites and launch them into space they can personally look at the images and data to prove a flat earth. I'll oh, come off it, B.O.B., really? Really? Presumably, he believes that NASA and other space agencies create fake pictures of the spherical earth, so he wants to be in control. He initially wanted to raise 200,000... Just, like, just go to the end of the earth then and, just, and then realise that... Like, is, he re is he for real? Like, just go to the end of the earth and you'll, you'll see for yourself that it's not. Because you keep going around, you'll end up back at another country. It's not going to be a, just a certain, certain drop-off point. So, someone would have tried to do that. Um, uh, he initially wants to raise $200,000. Oh, that could be Jiren. I hope so. This going to be a random maybe. Oh, that's Jiren. Oh, that's Jiren. Sorry, Jiren. Sorry, Jiren. Sorry, Jiren. Sorry, guys. I didn't tell you that I... I didn't say BRB. Um, yeah. So, uh, so he wanted to raise two hundred thousand dollars, but soon realised that he needed a lot. He needed a lot or more money for what he wanted to achieve. So the new goal is a mere one million. He wants a million dollars. Bear in mind, he's a very successful rapper. He wants a million dollars to f figure out for himself if the world is spherical. Great. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and right now, the grand total of donated cash is $4,000. So, uh, good luck. Good luck, B.O.B. Um, right. And now, we're, we're actually on to the sports section. 
and it, it, to be honest, it's kind of good timing because uh, Jiren is is sorry, Georgian. I keep calling him Jiren. Georgian is back right now. I think three, two, one. And now it's time for the sports section with our sports correspondent. Hey, <laughs> hey bro. I'm so sorry. I'm so late. <laughs> Don't apologize to me, bro. Sorry, guys. I was actually getting a very in-depth weather report. <laughs> From up here, we always say it's pretty dark. You did, you did a traffic report actually down by the road this time. From the red traffic light we, itself. We didn't change so it cuts down to you by the traffic light. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Uh, I'm currently reporting down by the traffic. Well, I can still tell you that the weather's pretty dark. Dude, there's, um, it, we're actually on the sports section what? part, so it's, 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 perfect. Better without it's, it's perfect timing. <laughs> right on. Oh, I have to re-enter here. No, no, it's all good, bro. You're, good. Yeah, you're good. You're, you're, you're a sports correspondent, uh, Georgia. Georgia, there we go. I oh, know, it's Nor, Nor something. Oh, yeah, Nor, Nor, but Nor, is it Nor, Norwood? <laughs> right on. Well, the sports section goes as follows. A rabbit sporting achievements that are always overlooked in mainstream media. Let's change that. And that is the end of the article. That goes on. <laughs> <Where's that? laughs> this week, a rabbit set a world record, and it's a beautiful achievement for Beanie, aged five. Is that quite old for a rabbit? I don't know. Did rabbits have like rabbit years or same as dog years? Did you multiply by what? Maybe a bit more. I can't I imagine know. they live. Well, maybe they live the same. But Beanie is a yeah. I was about to say, what are the point of rabbits? Oh, come on. I used to have a rabbit called Biscuit. Really? Just ate cabbage and ran away all the time. Exactly. Does it get to a point where those kind of animals just think, oh, I'm bored of you. Yeah. That's why I can't. Shame, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm just so bored of this dog. <laughs> We're in one of those moods today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, Beanie is apparently basketball obsessed. And on casual Tuesday night, well, tonight's technically casual Friday, although yeah, you have yeah. to pull out right now. So. <laughs> Will happily hop about dunking basketballs for fun. So Beanie's owner thought, "There's a world record somewhere here." Of course, the owner saw an opportunity. Yeah. And they appeared to milk some views out of it. basketballs. So Beanie went on the set of Guinness World Records for most basketballs dunked in one minute by a rabbit. I can't say there were many competitors in that category. <laughs> <laughs> you got like a dog who's just a rabbit. <laughs> I promise you, it's a rabbit. <laughs> In total, seven balls were dunked. Good on you, Beanie. Securing the record <laughs> and ensuring worldwide fame. Thank God. Beanie also has other talents beyond basketball. This is a talented freaking man. Yeah. Including being able to vacuum up its own poop. Much of a talent? I don't know, dude. That, that sounds unhygienic to me. Even what for, even for a poops, rabbit. Poop? Vacuums? I used, to, you take you know, I, used to, I used to actually I used to actually eat, or I have actually in the past, eaten a rabbit poo. Not even lying. What? It's bad. On purpose? Yeah. No, I, when I was younger, I was like, Dad's still like, yeah, go on then, go on. Uh, okay, it was a day, I thought you just went up to a bowl of rabbit poo. Oh, no, it just it's, happened to poo in a bowl. That's not, that's not my style. No. It's all We've got Mary. some uh, messages coming from Mary, Mary Patrice's side. She said, how can people believe the world is flat? Hope you're doing well. I wanted to buy my friend a cellular hoodie, but size is out of stock. We will make sure that is changed very, very soon. Um, Do you believe the world is flat? I don't know. No, I don't. Do you? I can't imagine why NASA would lie to people and say, I mean, besides no, NASA, I don't, footage, but... I was saying earlier on, like, surely someone's thought, you know what, I'm going to test it myself, and it's gone to the end of the Earth, the physical end of the Earth. Yeah. They like, sailed out to the edge of where it would be the normally. Mass, yeah. yeah. I don't believe that. It was nice to meet, uh, Zainab, it was nice to meet you at the Bristol signing last Saturday. Did you get the, did you get the burgundy jumper? Me and my friend fake. Yes, I did. I did. I have got that jumper. Thank you very much. P.S. I'm still crying at the ending of Username Uprising. Oh, yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, if you haven't got it, go and buy it right now. You can get a signed one from Sainsbury's, from Tesco, and from Waterstones. Um, or, you can just get, or you can just get the one from Amazon. It's not signed. It's up to you. A few people, so Joe put on his Instagram story the other day that if, if they did something to get the, the oh, Username yeah. book, that I'd have to go lick people's toes. Oh, yeah. A few people have been calling him out on that, actually, bro. Yeah, you should. You have to get. Uh, you have to get tongue ready, bro. I'm waiting for the sterilizing needles to come back. It's gonna be a lot of toes. <laughs> uh, Met Mete Grev Balding. Hi, Joe. I've watched your videos for the past four years. I love them. You're the good work. And please come to Denmark and do a book signing such meetup. Lots of love. I would love to go to Denmark. Really want to go to Denmark. Um, Grace the gamer. Hi, Joe. It'll be a Brighton book tour. As soon as you walked into the room, I started bawling and cried for the whole two hours back home. Oh, thank you. She loves me, Anne Byron. Thanks, Grace the Gamer. What a legend. Um, and sorry, Bad Ran Joe. Have you ever visited the tour of Avalon at Glastonbury? No, I haven't, actually. We played from a vlog there. Maybe at the healing pools of the Mother of Goddess at Bath. Ooh, no, I haven't. So that's the thing. I haven't even like, seen, checked out much of my own, my own hometown. Joe, you know what pants are you wearing? I'm currently wearing... Oh, the Bangladeshian flag. 
bees, <laughs> which are from criminal damage. Very, very comfortable. Um, anyway, Byron, yeah. G- Georgian, what's the weather like? What's the weather saying? Did you not hear the whole intro I said back there? But we can't God. see. Is it actually cold outside today? Like, what we, what well, it wasn't, I mean, I am wearing a hoodie, but it was probably not necessary uh. for the actual temperature. It was in between, I'd say. It's in between shirts and hoodie yeah. weather. And for and for for traffic wise, what we say in traffic report, I'm gonna say it's quite busy. It's looking pretty moderate to busy. It's quite hectic. Yeah. For a seven for half seven Come on a Friday on, night, that is quite Friday. hectic. Yeah. I was working too hard. Right, guys, uh, that is the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up, share it with your mates, um, subscribe, and that's about it really. Uh, write your names in the chat. We'll read out a few before we go. Shout out from South Africa. Yes, hey. shout out South Africa. We've had a few more things. Oh, Hannah, you guys are beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, Emily, Mor- Emily Morgan. I met you in Brighton last Saturday. I can't believe I met my... Oh, bless. Thanks, Emily. It was good to meet you. Um, and Katie Hull. Um, Hi, Joe. I'm a second university student studying business and marketing. Ooh, nice. Gutted I can't make the hello world due to, due to uni. FML. Oh, I'm sorry. There will be... I hope there will be more in the future. Right. Charlotte, Ashley G, Florian, Toby, Ashley, Haley, Max, Libby, Brittany, Lucy, Clara. Yeah, let's go and go and go. Siobhan, uh, Morgan, uh, New Zealand, Grace, Sammy from Lincoln, um, Brittany, Alice, Crystal. Oh, the, the 10 minute time has gone off from, uh, from, from uh, Google Home. That's one of my like how this, you can make them do whatever. <laughs> okay, Google, that's enough. Um, uh, Jacob Zag. Zig Ziglow, uh, Eloise, Jasmine, Paige, uh, Amy Weatherby, Katie from England, Megna, um, Jude, uh, Ewan, Cassie, Thea, Kaylee West, Joanne, and Alex. I hope you had a good evening. I hope you have a good weekend as well. Um, there's a video on Sunday. It's another MSN reacting to my old MSN conversations video. So if you like that series, then you'll enjoy this week's video. If not, then hopefully there'll be like a prank next week. I don't know. Like I said, again, I've got a lot going on at the moment and I'm finding it hard to get some, nail down some good, good, um, even though I really enjoy the Amazon ones, but nail, nail down some ones that are a bit different. What's this? Right. Anyway, see you, uh, see you soon. See you next week. All the best. Take care. Good boy. Where's the finish? End. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes. <laughs>